Welcome to the art project. Um, today I'm going to do a portrait. I'm going to do this portrait with charcoal and uh, acrylic paint. And um, we're just going to see how it goes. Uh, I'm really just kind of doing this for fun. I needed to do some painting today. Felt like I needed to do some drawing, so here we go. Uh, the first thing I did was um, take this board that I had previously prepared basically for this very thing uh, almost a year ago and uh, I put a kind of a grid it's not a true grid it's I've divided it up uh, across the middle horizontally down the middle vertically and then from corner to corner both ways so I have uh, eight different triangles and I'm using those triangles to help line up and draw this picture uh, from this photo that I took and uh, I'm just kind of roughing it in with pencil right now and I am not using like the typical you know set up a face kind of uh, structure like I used to do or like I usually do uh, to do this uh, I'm drawing from a grid and so I'm using the grid to kind of let me know where the eyebrows are the eyes are and, and so on uh, so this is a little bit different than what I've done in the past. Uh, then, after I got it roughed out uh, with pencil, I started to fill in the darks with charcoal. Now, at this point, I'm not really trying to make uh, really good, perfect um, shadows or perfect, you know, uh, likeness of this uh, photograph. I'm really just trying to get some charcoal on the canvas or in this case on the piece of plywood uh, to to paint into. Um, I knew that I was going to mess this up with acrylic paint and so it wasn't a matter of making it perfect with charcoal uh, like you might do with a normal charcoal drawing. So once I got some charcoal on there I took my acrylic paint and started to work into uh, the different areas of charcoal. Now I'm going to come back and darken it up again. I'm going to add more charcoal, add more paint, add more charcoal and I'm just going to keep going uh, back and forth uh, like that for a while. Uh, sometimes I will just dip my brush in the water. Uh, sometimes it's a uh, relatively clean brush. It, you know, it's dirty paint water uh, with charcoal in it, but doesn't have a lot of paint in it. And I just kind of wash the charcoal around. That way it doesn't turn to gray, but um, uh, kind of darkens up and solidifies just a little bit on the surface. Uh, and then other times I use just a brush that's got a little bit of white paint in it and a little bit of um, uh, charcoal in it and uh, to create some of my grays. And I just kind of keep back, going back and forth. It's a, it's a game of uh, pull and push, uh, tweaking, moving lines and edges of shadows and so on, um, putting in shadows uh, that are too dark. She looks like Hitler right here. And then um, going back into it with paint and uh, painting it down a little bit and uh, creating the shadow that it really is. I'm also looking for uh, reflected light in the shadows. Uh, like underneath her nose, you can't tell it right now, but underneath her nose there's a little bit of light hitting it. And so it's not like a dark, dark black shadow in the photograph. And it was really fascinating, so I kind of went in there with some white. You'll see this in a few minutes where I go in there with some white and I lighten up the shadow and you know it's just back and forth and the fun thing about this is it's really hard to control uh, a lot of students are afraid to um, do anything that they can't just totally control but uh, for me and I think for a lot of uh, really good professional artists uh, the stuff that you can't control is the stuff that ends up leaving good energetic lines behind and so my challenge to you, if there's a challenge to be involved in this uh, uh, painting that I'm doing, my challenge to you is do something that you don't have a lot of control over and then continue to try and control it, uh, continue to try and work it to your advantage. Um, you'll be left with lines that are unique and um, textural and exciting but at the same time you can use your skills to push that material until you get uh, get to the recognizable uh, picture that you're trying to get so um, anyway um, it was a lot of fun I'm uh, learning uh, through this process I, I haven't ever 
well, I, I've done this before. I did this in my sketchbook a couple of weeks ago on another video, something similar. Um, and I've probably, I've probably done this uh, so long ago that I don't really remember, but I, I wanted to try this out. Uh, I, I was watching some YouTube and I saw someone else doing it and I was reminded of the process. And uh, if you haven't ever done this or seen it up close, uh, graphite and white paint look really nice together for some reason. And uh, charcoal and white paint look really good together too. Uh, I'm probably gonna try and do a graphite one uh, before too long. But anyway, uh, then I, I kind of um, did the background a little bit. I've got some ideas for going back into this painting with some other things. So it's not just a plain uh, portrait. Um, and it's really not even a, a portrait of this girl. Uh, is, I was using her photograph for shadows and, and uh, some details, but it, it doesn't really look like her, honestly. Um, but I've, I've got some ideas for maybe going back into it and tweaking it some more and uh, maybe doing a, a better background, maybe giving it a little uh, mystery uh, with some extra stuff somehow, some way. Uh, not totally sure. Here I am working on that shadow in her nose, so it's not a Hitler mustache. Um, and uh, this was kind of fun because it, it really, I think I captured the uh, darkness of the shadow, but also the reflected light that's there and uh, that little you know dimple under your nose. I forget what they're called. Somebody tell me down in the comments below, what is that little dimple? What's that thing called? Um, the reflected light on her on the left on her left side of her jaw right there was a lot of fun. Uh, I hope I don't have her looking too much like she's got a, a beard. Um, these are things you got to watch out for when you're doing portraits, especially portraits of girls. You don't want them to look like they have a beard. But uh, I like a lot of dramatic lighting on my photo. Uh, when I take the photograph, I set up the lights and I set up the student. And I have them pose and I try out different. Uh, directions, I have them look down, I have them look up, I have them look to the side. Uh, but I always try and take my own uh, reference photos. That way I know that it's my material and I'm not, you know, stealing it off the internet or anything like that. So anyway, there is my uh, portrait. It was a lot of fun. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell up at the top and go make some art. Bye.